Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and today I have Sam with me again. Hello. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. In the past, we did like snack crate type things. On my on channel. On your channel. We've definitely done it together. So definitely go check that out. I think that was on your main channel at the time, Queen Halo. So yeah, a little bit we'll of a We'll link lockdown. that down below. Check those out. Those were fun. I have not seen this. I don't know what this is. All yeah. I know is that it's edible. It's food. Have you ever wanted to try something that you can't actually eat? In this case, illegal to eat. Tree bark. You wanted to eat tree bark? We're not eating tree bark, I'm sorry. I watch Good Mythical Morning all the time. I got you into it as well. Yep. I love Rhett and Link. Josh is their main guy. They have all these ideas. They give it to Josh, and Josh creates all these different types of foods that you yep. would not even imagine, but somehow it goes. They teamed up with this company called Illegal Chips. There's three different types of chips in there. So there's horse meat and oh maggot cheese. And then Ooh, the poison blowfish. So that's the flavor that Josh from the Mythical Kitchen created. In France, is um horse meat still around? Probably. I know in France, if you go into a restaurant, if it has a horse statue, that means they serve horse meat there. Really? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, we got two of the maggot cheese. I was hoping for two of the one that Josh created. But anyways, oh, so which one do you want to try first? Let's try maggot cheese. Most of these are actually vegan. It has no horse meat or any maggot cheese actually in it. Basically, they use food science to mimic the actual taste of what the thing tastes like. 450 calories, serving size 54 chips. 450 calories for one bag. That's actually probably a lot. Feed your friends illegal chips and make them guess what they're eating. <laughs> That's dangerous. Have Imagine good me, friends. Like, holding this out and it's like, this is good. What is it? Oh, maggot cheese. <laughs> it's like, okay. Smell that. That smells like moldy cheese, in my opinion. Yeah, oh, now that you said that, I really smell that, yeah. That's not the best smell that you want to smell. They wouldn't sell if it didn't taste good. Don't think of moldy cheese. That's cheese. what blue cheese is, just moldy cheese, it right? It's That's literally moldy cheese, cheese but it's like health, healthy mold. Hey, right, you ready? I got a bigger chip than you. So? <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Why was I thinking it was gonna be way worse? Why does this remind me of sour cream and onion? It's yeah. literally sour cream and onion. It reminds me of sour cream and onion, but like a little cheese factor. Not like the cheddar sour cream and onion. The cheesiness isn't like so strong. It's not in your face. Yeah. It's a lot more mildish than a sour cream and onion chip. Yeah. I like it. That's not bad. You know what these taste like? Those healthy like gluten free snacks, you know, like because it's a lot more mild. It's not as like much salt. Yeah, like you get this like very mild cheese taste in the beginning and the aftertaste is sour cream and onion. Yeah. I give it like a seven. Like, first of all, they don't even look disgusting. They just no. look like regular chips, and they don't taste gross at all. It's like a normal chip. Horse meat. Oh, God. Why let the law limit your palate? In France, you can get a horse steak. In America, though, Big Horse has uh, conspired to prevent you from tasting this delicacy until now. I believe this is the one that's vegan. Oh. So just remember, you're not actually eating horse meat. You're just getting the taste of it. Right. Is this worse than the other smell? It had, like, when I first opened it, I got, like, this really weird meat smell. But then now when I'm smelling it, I smell barbecue chips. Don't you kind of smell a little bit of barbecue now since I said that? Yeah, it's always when you say it. It's like, it doesn't meat. smell bad, though. Like, that yeah. smelled bad, but tasted good. This yeah. one's okay. What if it's the opposite? Like, this sm smells good, good and now it's going to taste really bad. All right. I'm nervous. You ready? Yes. Oh, this one's a stronger taste. It's not bad, but it does really taste like meat, and it's throwing me off because I never had meat in the form of a chip. I think I like the maggot cheese more, though. Yeah. Like, when you start eating it, it's a regular chip. Three seconds in, there's, like, some weird thing going on. Yeah. Like, it's a strong meat taste, and then after yep. that, it subsides, and it's like, okay, regular chip again. From the start, it tastes like barbecue mm -hmm. for three seconds. It tastes like an infusion of filet mignon and brisket. If you infuse those two together, that's what this tastes like. Now the last one is from made by Josh in the Mythical Kitchen, Poison Blowfish. Okay. Imagine being on a chip bag. I know, right? Flex. This is illegal just because for the sake factor it's poisonous. So obviously you don't actually want to eat poison blowfish, obviously. Okay, here we go. The final bag. Ooh, that aftertaste. It has this weird fizzing feeling. So I like eating it like in the beginning, but towards the end, I don't know if I really like the taste at the end, like the, like, the taste it leaves in your mouth. It's know. not that fishy. It's taste. not, I don't taste any fish when I eat this, but when you smell it, you smell the fish. It's not like a burst of flavor in your mouth, you know? It's mainly the aftertaste. It's like a potato chip that has this weird fizzing feeling, almost like Pop Rocks, but not that extreme. Oh, he's Remy. Oh, he smelled it. That's you an indication. Chip? See if he likes it. No? No? It's not Remy approved. Mm, Sorry. Not Remy Sorry, approved. Sorry, Josh. I mean, he's smelling because he smells fish. Okay, so the best one for me was the maggot. 
and then it goes the fish and then the horse. Because the horse is okay. just such a weird concept for meat and a chip for me. So I give 8 for the maggot cheese, give like a 7.2 for this, and then a 6.8. Those are very specific ratings. Like I'm with, very, with the yeah, points. I'm very Your exact. palate is very defined. Then again, is. you work in a restaurant, so. These two were kind of a close tie, but mm -hmm. I don't like ties when it comes to ratings. This is definitely first place for me, mm -hmm. and I would say, same as you, an 8 out of yeah. 10. This, I would probably give a, let's just go with like a six and a half. Still very good though. Six and a half does not mean bad. Right. And then third place, still good though. I don't know, five and a half. You know, so it's above a five. If you go in with like high expectations, like, oh, it's going to taste like this, then you can, you're more disappointed. You don't know what poison blowfish tastes like. How, how can you I have such know. high expectations? No, I, I like the uniqueness that they put into it to have that yeah. fuzzy feeling. For like the poison, you know what I mean? Like that's very unique. Like that probably took a yeah. lot of science to like figure out how to do that in chip form. Give me two chips at once and I have to decide. Like you're gonna eat them, put yes. them both in your mouth. Alright, like little challenge. Okay. Yep. Sam's okay. gonna feed me two chips and I have to determine what two chips they fed me. Do you trust me? I trust you, just look that way. Okay. Because <laughs> I trust you as a I trust that you. way. Now turn around. <laughs> yeah, look. <literally. laughs> so much trust. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, trust, I trust you. Should I like come around like this and feed you them? <laughs> just stack them on top of each other and just shove it. Don't shove it. Tell me when to open my mouth. I mean, go. Oh, you didn't oh, even more. Sorry, than I stabbed me. you. Okay, sorry. That was my fault. Obviously. Yeah. It's coming in the airplane. I feel like I'm just eating a kid. Here we go. You suck it. Force meat and blowfish. Yes. Yes. You ready? Open your mouth. <laughs> See, I'm so better than you. <laughs> Maggot's definitely in here. Mm -hmm. And horse. Yep. Yeah. I was deciding whether or not to be mean and Look give you two of the same chips and be like, nope. Oh my god, I did just double mad it. So overall, nice. I like this concept. It's definitely weird and interesting. If anyone has actually tried horse meat, get this and tell us if it's actually true. Yeah. I will leave the link down below so you guys can try out this um, pack. You can order the pack itself. We get all the flavors. It comes with an extra fourth bag. We got an extra maggot cheese, mm. which is good. We like that one anyways. I mean, we liked all of them. I'm glad that the one they gave us two of was our first placer. That, yeah, that was good. I didn't tell Sam what we were doing. This is a whole big surprise. He just left a box on my desk and he's like, you will die if you open it. So yeah, I was like, oh, not I'm it. not touching that. So this was definitely a fun surprise. I enjoyed this video. Yes. So you were right. Please like, comment, and possibly even share this video. I gotta get more subscribers to so tell people about me. Graph. You know, yeah, look at the graph. If you are not subscribed, but you watch a lot of my videos, might as well subscribe. Check out Good Mythical Morning and definitely uh, Mythical Kitchen. And definitely Queen Halo. Oh, and definitely <laughs> Queen Halo. Yes, definitely this person over here. Throw that in. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.